wishes of peace, love and joy to you, my dear people. Lord, I'm a puny little creature, the dust from the dust. If you were with me, I can be your mighty instrumental, Lord. Bless me, Lord, so that I might break your word, worthily to your people. Amen. My dear people, there are double locks in lives where you cannot decide either of these two ways. You feel being locked up on either sides. That's where most often we get confused in life. We don't know how to go about. The double locks increase our stress. When there are double locks in our lives, we become very, very stressful. Today's first reading, there is a God-fearing woman, Susanna. And there are two elderly men who were possessed with lust, trying to hook her by double binding. When she is alone, they try to approach her with lust. When she says no, they try to blackmail her, saying that they will take her to the court by false accusations. So she has to obey and to give herself or feed them with their lust. She's double locked. Which side to go? There are no people around. Whatever they are going to say as men going to be the truth to the world. I'm caught up between. And today's gospel, Jesus also gets into double lock. The woman caught in adultery is being brought. And the people who brought her tell her, accuse her. According to the law of Moses, she should be stoned to death. Jesus looks at the sinners in the eyes of mercy and compassion. And he didn't know how to go about to this double lock. If he says yes, it's a problem. If he says no, it's again another problem. If he says yes to the law and he is inhuman, is killing a life. If he says no, he is going against the law of Moses. That's where he keeps silence. As a brother in the formation, I used to go to visit home. And I visit few families. I went near the seashore. I always love seashores. I love people who are living near the seashores, the fisher folk, very simple, good people. And there were some people who were also having salt farms near the seashore. I met them. I spoke with them. And I was about to go. They told me, Father, shall we pray? No, at that time I was only a brother, so shall we pray? So we joined together. We started praying. And then they told me, pray that it should not rain. Because the salt form, whatever the salt is being formed, again it will get melted. So we prayed not to rain. And then we, I came out. Moved to meet some other families, little away. And there were some families who are farmers. Before going, they also asked for prayer and we joined together and pray. And they told me, brother, please pray for rain. Now you see how difficult it is to be a priest now. Whom to pray? Whether to pray for rain or not to rain. Caught up between double locks. We also get into double locks and that's how they brought the coin to Jesus and said, according to Caesar, we are to pay it to Caesar. Do we need to pay or not to pay? If he says yes, it is a problem. No, it is a problem. According to the law of God or the will of God, he has to die, shed his blood and get resurrected. Whether he has to die without completing the mission, or can he go away from the will of God? A double lock. My dear people, we all will get into double locks in life. Those moments 
Don't take hasty decisions. Calm down so that your stress level will go down. Talk to God. Jesus was doodling. He was thinking and talking to God, listening to God, praying to God. How to pray to God at those moments, just like Jesus prayed in Gethsemane. Lord, let not my will, thy will be done. Let our prayer be, Lord, let thy will be done. So when that prayer goes on, an intuition, God's voice will come into us to take a proper decision. My dear people, as an act of mercy in this Lent, I request you in your family prayers, bring in all the double locks and pray, Lord, let your will be done in our families. Let us pray. Lord, a loving Father, in the moments of double locks, in our pain and in our struggles, make us to come closer to you and to listen to your voice deep inside that your will be done in our lives. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm.